Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it's time for my movie and stitch review. I am very late and falling behind badly. Life just got in the way. I didn't have time to sit down and watch movies, but I have watched a couple lately. So I'm going to review two. I'm going to do the letter J and the letter K. So for the letter J, I am doing Jindabyne, an Australian movie released in 2006. Jindabyne is an actual town in New South Wales. The movie stars Gabriel Byrne, Laura Linney and Deborah Lee Furness. Gabriel Byrne is an Irish actor, screenwriter, director, you name it, he's done it. He's very talented. I do enjoy watching him. I've been watching him lately in a Netflix, I think it's a Netflix series called War of the Worlds. It is great. He's really good in that. Laura Linney. She's an American actress that I find forgettable. She can, she's a singer too. She's done prolific work on Broadway. She's won two Golden Globes, an Emmy, and she's been nominated for an, um, an Oscar. But whenever I see her face, I go, oh, that's her. For me, she can sometimes overact badly. She's not too bad in this. Deborah Lee Finesse does not have a huge body of work. This Australian actress is married to Hugh Jackman. She does do some directing and producing. Yes, this lucky lady is married to Hugh Jackman. I really like watching her. And I believe she should do more roles because I think she's far more talented than some other people out there. For you internationally, you might remember her in an, a couple of episodes of Falcon Crest. Yes, I'm showing my age here. How many of you remember Falcon Crest? Leave a comment below. Wow, was that a bad show? <laughs> anyway, the synopsis of this movie. I'm going to read it out because it's quite involved. Stuart Kane, an Irishman living in Australian town of Gingerbine, is on a fishing trip in isolated hill country with three other men when they discover the body of a murdered girl in the river. Rather than return to town immediately, they continue fishing and report their gruesome find days later. The, sto the story of murder and marriage and a film about things that haunt us. The subject matter of this movie is really quite haunting and the way people react to things. But for me, in summary, this movie lacks something. All actors individually were really good, but the movie didn't come together for me. It was very slow. So maybe that had something to do with the editing. And the ending for me was a little strange. So for that reason, I give it three out of five stars. It's a good movie to watch on a slow day when you want to do some crafting because I worked on my advent blanket and I did two rows of hot pink. I was determined to finish this blanket. So then we move on to the letter K. The movie I am reviewing is Kenny, an Australian movie. It stars Shane Jacobson. There are a lot of other actors in this movie, but he is the starring role and they're not very good supporting actress. He's an Australian actor born in Victoria, come comedian, come this, come that. I really like him in Kenny. It is the second time I have watched it and I laugh just as much the second time as I did the first time. So the synopsis for Kenny. The other thing about Shane Jacobson was in his youth, he was a scout and he returned to the scouting movement in 2015 where he became, let me have a look, ceremonial position of Scout Victoria's Chief Scout. I found that interesting because I was a Cub Scout leader when the boys were a lot younger in the north of WA and I really enjoyed it at the time. So it's a light-hearted mockumentary that follows Kenny through his daily life. From the biggest festivals to the smallest church social, Kenny Smith delivers portaloos, toilets, to them all. Kenny tackles every septic 
challenge that comes his way, culminating in a visit to International Pump and Cleaning Expo in National, Nashville, Tennessee, or as Kenny affectionately calls it, PooHQ. Look, I just enjoy this movie. I'm not a big fan of comedies, but I do like this one because it's lighthearted mockumentary. It's not a full-on slapstick comedy. I give it four out of five stars. I would have given it five stars if the supporting actors had done a little better and added something to this movie. It totally is successful because of Shane Jacobson. So I continued with my advent blanket during this movie and I did a border. Yes, I used purple. Bit of a shock for everybody. I did four rows of single crochet to give it a border. My advent blanket that I started in December with the little scrap yarn gifts from Thing is finished. It is well and truly a good queen size blanket. It is super heavy. I tried to get um, Reeves to hold it up, but we couldn't get a good photo because it's really heavy. But I do have a photo on the washing line when I washed it, so hopefully I'll be able to post that at the end. Look, around about here, I nearly gave up. But when I laid it on a queen size bed, it wasn't big enough. But what the other thing I did too, from about this green up, I use super soft yarn. So if it gets near your face and chin, it's really soft. No, I am not giving this away. No, I am not keep donating it to charity. I am keeping it because it is the first full size blanket I have ever made. Even when I did the corner to corner for Reeves's as a blanket it's more of a very big throw for a six foot three guy it doesn't cover his bed but there you have it it is finished i am so proud of it <laughs> congratulate me on my great project finished guys for movie and stitch review for the letter l and m so my next one will be l will be lantana an australian movie it's quite the drama and quite a deep subject and for M, it has to be Muriel's Wedding. I want to listen to all that ABBA music and have a good laugh. So I'll probably review them both together again to try and catch up. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my movie and stitch review. And you check out Ginderbine and Kenny, any streaming service. Some might charge you a small amount. Me, one of the streaming services I belong to, they were free. But you will enjoy Kenny. And maybe Ginderbine if it's up your alley. Guys, until next time, stay safe, take care. Remember, life's an adventure, so have one yarny movie adventure this week. Bye for now.